Antibiotics were not invented by humans, they were invented by microbes, fighting each other in the natural environment. But in the environment, unlike the clinic, there is a system of checks and balances that keep resistant bacteria from taking over. Trying to mimic what we see in nature, we are now finding ways to understand, predict, and ultimately reverse the development of antibiotic resistance. We need to break the vicious cycle of inventing new antibiotics only for the bacteria to become resistant to them. What I find truly unique about the Technion is its inherently interdisciplinary nature. Innovation today happens at the interface where different approaches meet. The infrastructure and extraordinary talent here at the Technion allow us to put together diverse approaches driven from biology, from medicine, from engineering, and from computer science to get novel insights into the problem of antibiotic resistance and hopefully to open the way for better cures. What we need to do is develop ways to reverse evolution, to drive it backwards in time. In the Technion Israel Institute of Technology, Professor Roi Kishoni has initiated a radical paradigm shift to tackle the global antibiotic health challenge. While at Harvard Medical School and inspired by the Hollywood film Contagion, Kishoni and his team came up with the idea of the Megaplate, an invention allowing the systematic mapping of genetic changes leading to drug resistance. What we have here is a gigantic petri dish made through slabs of increasing concentration of an antibiotic. One fold, ten fold, hundred fold, and one thousand times fold the amount of antibiotic needed to kill the bacteria. We're simply going to put bacteria on the edges where there is no antibiotic and let them swim and see what happens. We see the bacteria initially filling up the area where there is no antibiotic, that's easy for them, but then they get stuck on the line above which there is concentration of antibiotic that is going to kill them. But ultimately, one of these billions of bacteria sitting there is going to mutate, evolving to become more resistant to that level of antibiotic. This bacterium and its entire lineage now penetrate to the next step. The process repeats itself, and fairly quickly, after barely 10 or 11 days of evolution, bacteria have found ways to evolve dramatically to increase the resistance level by some 1,000-fold over the initial resistance. With Technion's unique position as a global center of innovation in multidisciplinary science, Professor Kishoni, along with leading scientists from multiple organizations, are now developing a new paradigm of predictive diagnostics that includes laboratory analysis, collecting big data from health services, and real-time collaboration with hospitals. I'm excited about these new opportunities for bridging between computer science methods and the biomedical world. The partnership between Maccabi and the Technion will allow us to develop real-time algorithms for patient treatment with higher success rates. Together, we try to put a full picture of antibiotic resistance in hospitals. By gathering this enormous amount of clinical data, really from millions of patients, we can for the first time break out of this conventional way of doing science in laboratory setting that you see here and test our very basic science hypotheses by applying machine learning and big data science to actual clinical data.